In this video, we are going to discuss about what are the difference between Odoo 13 Enterprise Edition as well as the Community Edition. So, as we all know, that is, Odoo is entitled as a complete package of an ERP solution, which is constantly switching to a newer version every year with more updated feature. With an extensive list of new features, the latest version of Odoo, that is Odoo 13, which is about five times more faster than Odoo 12. So, as we know, that is, Odoo contains well-integrated module and has a modular structure with two editions that is our enterprise edition as well as the community edition. So the community edition of Odo is available free of cost and however with a limited function whereas the enterprise edition is an already Odo community along with additional functional apps. So here you can see a set of comparison that is made between the enterprise as well as the community edition. Here you can see the certain Fields, that is in case regarding the project management sales management the things that are available in enterprise and which are not available in community version so as in case of user interface we know that at the same time Odo enterprise edition which is available on mobile as well as the desktop whereas the community edition is available only in the desktop and moreover when you scroll down you can see the studio so under studio application, using this application, one can customize your system directly inside the application. So the Odo Enterprise Edition user can work with the screen customization, report designers, menu editors, as well as the app creators. These are available in Enterprise Edition, whereas these are not available under the community version. And also under project management, you can see that in Odo Enterprise Edition, it brings up the features like employee timesheet and forecasting, whereas under community version, uh, the forecast uh, property is not available under this. And likewise, here you can see certain comparison which are made in different modules that is under sales management, the things that are available in enterprise as well as the community versions. So these are just an overview of the comparison of different modules. So we can look over it in details. So now let's see what are the major differences in detail. So now let's see in detail what are the difference between the enterprise as well as the community version in our Odoo 30. So right now I'm in the enterprise edition of our Odoo 13. So let's have a look in the differences one by one. So in Odoo 13 enterprise edition, it has encompasses with a new types of different views that is coherent dashboard as well as the map view for different modules such as sales and CRM and so on. So basically, it will help the end users to easily manage and analyze all the business activities. So now let's see, have a look on these views in our CRM. So here we have different sets of views in our CRM. So the additional one is the one that is the cohort view. So under this cohort view, it will help the end users for quick analysis over the days, week, month, as well as the year the next one is the dashboard view so this dashboard view will give an insight that is a clear picture of all the activities that is happening in a single glance and the next view is a map view so here you can also get the map view now when you go to your community version so let's switch to our community version and now let's see what is there in CRM so under CRM you can see different sets of views that is you have a Kanban view a list view calendar view and then comes the pivot view graph view as well as the activity button so 
the, the thing that is the new sets of views that is dashboard view, cohort view and map view is one of the major difference between both this edition. Now let's look over the next. So the next difference that arises in our enterprise as well as the community edition is the availability of the module called as document. So under the enterprise edition of our Odoo 13, uh, we have a module called as document. So it is one of the feature of Odoo 13 enterprise where one can share their documents publicly. One can select their validity dates and can give right to upload or download. And this module is not available in our community version. So here you have different sets of options to upload, add URL to request documents so this is one of the feature in Odoo 13 Enterprise and when you come to this community version and let's go to our app so sorry you can go to your apps and under apps you can search for the module called as document so this would not be available so this is another comparison between the enterprise as well as the community version now let's come again to our enterprise version. Now the next module is about the IoT. So in enterprise edition of our Odo 13, we have an additional feature that is an IoT box. So basically it is one of the feature that enlarges the business potentiality. And moreover here you can see the option for IoT boxes and devices. So this Odo IoT box is uh, used to connect the IoT devices to Odo. So for that purpose, you can use this. So here you have in Enterprise Edition, you have an option for this IoT. But whereas you come to your community version, you don't have an option for this IoT. So it is one of the difference. So here you can see that under the community version, we don't have a module named as IoT. So this is an, another set of difference but that is between the enterprise as well as the community edition. Now let's go back to our enterprise edition. Now the next thing that is the major difference is that in our Odoo 13 enterprise version, we have another module that is called as render. So the Odoo rental module is a new application which is introduced by Odoo in our enterprise version in Odoo 13. So with this, it is ease of obtaining products for rent for a certain period of time and can also manage their resources and orders more efficiently. So here you can see already created some rental orders. From here you can create new orders and here you have different options to schedule products here you can mention the product that you want to take as rent so in enterprise edition we have an additional feature that is the rental management system but when as when you switch to your community version you won't have a module called as rental so when you search for rental module so you can see that in community edition we don't have this feature that is rental management and again, when we go back to our enterprise, now let's look to the next feature that is there in enterprise edition. So the next feature that comes under our enterprise edition is called as approvals. So under approvals, here with the employee approval act, it is very easy to manage our employee request where one can easily configure and approve the request. So here you can see the different approval types that is business trip, borrow items, general approval and here you have different options that is my approvals here you can create a new request and here you also have an option to see your request you have the option for managers and all so in enterprise edition we have an additional feature that is called as approvals whereas when you come to your community version of Odoo 13, you don't have this option for the approval. So 
you can search that is there is no module called as approval so this is again one of the feature or uh, one of the comparison that is between enterprise as well as the community edition now let's switch back to our enterprise edition of photo 13 so now the next feature or the next comparison is with the module called as referral so in the enterprise edition we have a module called as referrals so it is again an enterprise feature this feature we are not able to access in our community version so this auto referral app it helps you to share job position that are open at your workspace and also one can also refer the, their friends using this tool so here you have different option that is dashboard reporting as well as the configuration so here the job board will get you all the information that is needed to know about the open position so here you will see the different position here you have the option to choose any one of this avatar for your new friend so here you have an option to view the jobs so basically using this app we can share the job position that are open under our workplace so this is one of the attracting features of photo 13 enterprise edition so here you have different job positions and moreover you can also refer your friend so when you come to your community version of Odoo 13 you can see that you don't have an option or don't have a module called as referral so this is how one of the comparison take place between them and now let's move to the next comparison so in our auto 13 enterprise the next comparison is regarding the module called as social marketing so it is another feature of auto 13 enterprise edition so as we know that probably the greatest test of an organization is to connect efficiently with their users so the auto social marketing helps you to meet your own groups of audience with the assistance of the few backing such as social medias pop-up message or live chats so here you can see different feeds options or feeds here you can add the stream so to start with this firstly you need to add your social media account so while adding only that you would be able to use this module that is called social marketing here you have different option that is for posts campaigns visitors and all here you can see since from here you can create a new post and if you want to create a new campaign you can also create from this option so these are already created campaign so this is one of the feature that is newly added to our enterprise edition whereas when we switch to our community version and search for our social marketing app you can see that no such module is available under our community version now again when we come back to our enterprise version the next extra module or the next feature is the consolidation so this module is also one of the feature of our enterprise so here you have different menus that is dashboard and operations right now we are in the dashboard here under operation you have the consolidation entry from here you can create a new consolidation so basically this module extends the functionality of the accounting which to allow the console journal so using this module it allows to console the journal items in a consolidation company so here you can add the consolidation target currency start date and end date so it is again a new feature in our enterprise edition and this feature is not available under our community version of Odo 30. 
so now let's look the next feature that is under enterprise edition for our odo 13 the next feature that came is that the field service so odo field service management will help in preparing installation construction and delivery on-site services for both homes and businesses so here you can see different menus that is my task all task planning reporting sections so here you can create your own task by clicking on the create button so basically it is simply a system that is designed to keep a track of various components of field operations and here you can create your own task and here you have a planning option so by using planning for field service management you can easily handle meetings all your specific requirements to manage your after sale operation and here you can make planning or here you can filter by users as well as projects and from here you can see all your tasks and if you want to schedule new you can also schedule from here to schedule so this is again one of an enlightening feature in our order 13 enterprise edition uh, whereas this feature is not available in our community edition so right now we are in the community version of our Odo 13 so we don't have this feature in our community version and now let's move back again to our enterprise edition and now the next feature or the next comparison that arises is regarding the app called marketing automation so basically in Odoo 13 enterprise edition this is a new feature that is marketing automation so here you have an option for campaigns here you can create a new campaigns from here by clicking on the create button marketing order automation in Odoo will create an automatic as well as targeted marketing campaign so this feature helps in automating the workflow and thereby scale the businesses and moreover it can it craft simplified end-to-end -end customers journey designing engaging email campaign and then requesting email templates in a minutes so this is how it works that is marketing automation and this feature is not available under our community version now another feature or the another comparison that arises between these two is that a module called as lead scoring so basically in our enterprise edition of Odoo 13 we have an option or we have an additional module called as lead scoring so so before that you can go to configuration settings and enable the option for the lead so you can do that from configuration so let's tick this option called as lead and save this now let's go back to our app so when you go under your apps here you can search for a module called as lead scoring so here you can see a module called as lead scoring so this feature is available in our enterprise edition so basically the lead scoring in CRM is a feature that allows to give a score to leads that are based on specific criteria therefore the best leads are automatically assigned to the sale person so right now it is getting installed so once it is installed we can see it's separate in our CRM module so using this lead scoring we can score our leads so let's take a look over that so under CRM you can see under leads you have an option called as scoring loop so basically this option came when we installed the module called as lead scoring and it is one of the Odoo 13 enterprise feature here you can see certain created scores and from here you can create a new score here you can mention the name 
here you can mention the role type values and here you can set the domain for this so this is how the lead scoring in crm works in case of enterprise edition but whereas when you come under community version and when you sorry when you take the crm so under crm module let's first enable the option for our leads so let's enable this option called as leads and save this and now when you go to your apps and search for the option that is lead scoring you can see that that option is not available that is let's search for lead so here you can see that uh, in our community version we have only crm we don't have an module called as lead scoring so this is another comparison between the enterprise as well as the community edition that is we have an extra feature that is lead scoring that is there in our crm module now the next feature is regarding the loyalty program in our pos so in our point of sale module we have a feature called as the loyalty program so before that you can go to the point of sale and should enable the option for the loyalty program so let's select any one of the point of sale and when you scroll down there you can see the option under pricing that is loyalty program so let's save this so before that edit and make this option as enable so here you can enable this option and now let's save this so right now we cannot modify because there is already an open section so for doing that you have to close the section then only you can make changes so we, now let's go back again to our point of sale and then click on the edit and let's enable the option for loyalty program so here you can see the option called as loyalty program let's save this so basically it is a kind of business technique which are used by the retailers nowadays and it includes giving off the certain rewards and other attractive discounts offered to their loyal customer so let's save this and now so it is getting saved so this feature that is loyalty program is available under the enterprise edition only this feature is not available in our community version so so this once it is saved you can look over the loyalty program so here you can see the option for loyalty program so when you open this here you can see the different feature here you can provide the name for a loyalty program here you can provide the points as per different criteria that is as per currency orders products and points rounding here you have an option to provide the rules and also have an option to set the rewards and under here also you have an option to select different rewards type that is whether to provide it as a gift discount in person and discount in value so this is one of the feature that is loyalty program under pos and this feature is not available under our community version so let's switch on to our community version and let's go to our point of sale module so under point of sale module let's go to the configuration of our point of sale and let's open this shop so when you scroll down you can see that under pricing we won't have an option of loyalty program here you can see an option called as loyalty program but here you can see it is shown that is it is available only in the enterprise edition so this is another kind of comparison or the difference between 
the enterprise as well as the community edition of Odoo 13 and now let's see the another comparison now let's go back to our inventory module so in our inventory Odoo inventory edition users also get access to extra modules so in our enterprise edition under inventory management we have an uh, support of barcode scanner as well as when you scroll down under shipping also you can see so these features are not available under our community version of Odoo 13 so now let's switch back to our community version and let's go back to our inventory so let's take inventory go to configuration take settings so here you can see that under operation the barcode scanner itself is available only for enterprise edition and here also here under shipping you can see different shipping companies like or different shipping connectors that is DHL connectors FedEx connector UPS connectors all are available for the enterprise edition so now now let's look the next comparison for that let's go to a project so basically Odoo enterprise edition has kept these features like the time sheet as well as forecasting but whereas in Odoo community version uh, these features that is when you go to settings you can see in our enterprise edition we have a feature for timesheet employee timesheet as well as forecast but these features are not available under the community version here you can see the under time management you have an option called as forecast and timesheet so using forecast one can schedule the team across the project and estimate the deadline more accurately but in our community version when you go under your projects you can see that we there we don't have an option called option for forecast so basically this feature is not available since for here you can see the forecast option is only available for the enterprise this is because for smaller businesses at essential level does not prefer the functionality of forecast so for due to that reason the forecast option is not available under a community version now next set of feature for that first of all look at the manufacturing module so as we know that for both community as well as the enterprise it supports the manufacturing module so from here you can create the new orders and under operations you have certain features that is unbuilt orders scrap orders and all and moreover the Odo Enterprise Edition supports PLM quality as well as the shipping integration that is under manufacturing you can see the module called as PLM that is it has a separate module the manufacturing management has a separate module for PLM quality and so on but the difference arises over the community version is that in community we have a, the option for the manufacturing management but we don't have a separate module for PLM as well as quality so this is another set of difference that arises between the enterprise as well as the community version and the another difference that arises here is that in community version earlier we had a payroll but now the payroll module has been removed from our community version and it has been moved into our enterprise version so now onwards the payroll module will not be available under the community whereas it would be available in the enterprise version so basically these are some of the comparison between the Odoo 13 enterprise as well as the community version so this is an overview for that and if you want to know more about the differences between the Odoo 13 community as well as enterprise version you can refer the blog.
so under this block you would able to get more information so here you can see the different differences again among the enterprise as well as the community version if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odu implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com